Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. If you're new to the channel, I do timeless readings, which means that whenever you find this video is when you're meant to hear the messages within it. And in case you guys subscribe, I upload my new videos for Gemini and Sagittarius on Wednesdays. Also, for those of you guys who are interested, the deck that I'm using today is called the Ludi Lascott Tarot. I'm not 100% sure if that's how it's pronounced, but for those of you guys who are interested, it's L-U-D-Y-L-E-S-C-O-T. That's Ludi Lascott Tarot. And as always, if you guys are interested in getting your personal reading, the link is in the description. And lastly, just as a final message, sometimes the cards in the deck like to flip over. I see them, however, I usually don't take them unless they flip out like these ones have. Sometimes if there's too many, I'll put them back. But my goal is to, t is to get about eight cards for you guys. Sometimes there's more, sometimes there's less. Whatever the message uh, that's coming through with you, for you guys is and once i've got those once i've got the last card out uh we can get started on your guys's reading man this card did not want to flip over all right so just as a quick reminder uh, if the re if you guys liked the reading, or if it resonates with you guys, I would much appreciate a like or a comment. But your overall energy is the Hermit card. So I think that right now you guys are doing a lot more inner work than you were in the past, I feel. Uh, I feel like as of recently, you guys have decided that it's time to sort of go within and think about sort of the deeper topics, um, what it is that you are doing and who you are in relation to the situation. It's very interesting because I'm looking at this justice card here. And in that column, we have the death card. But I also see the sun card later on. So I feel as if you have been wronged in the past. Someone has hurt you or done something wrong to you or done something just that they shouldn't have towards you. And whatever that is, I feel like it might be continual. I feel like it might be something that has hurt you continuously or is like currently still going on but whatever it is that situation is about to end whatever situation that you have been put in which um you have been uh, detrimented or unfairly detrimented unfairly I, I feel like is going to sort of come to an end right now because we have the death card sort of urging this person to Whoever it is that is putting you in an unfair position to stop, to just knock it off and quit it. Because I'm very drawn towards this letter um, this that this person in the death card has. It, for a lot of you guys, it almost feels like a cease and desist letter. So maybe some of you guys are taking legal action, um, especially with this queen of swords. The queen of swords oftentimes can be a lawyer. So... I feel like that might resonate for some of you guys, but for another group of you guys, I feel like there's a much more emotional level here. Let me just go back to the previous example though. For those of you guys who are in sort of this legal dispute, there may be children involved because I'm seeing this uh, six of cups here and that is coming out very strongly for me, which is why I wanted to just mention it. Um, but, I think that for a lot of you guys, you're sort of having a discussion or 
something similar to a trial, but more of like a discussion of you guys and them sort of building a case um, for why they acted the way they acted and you deciding on if you dis like are satisfied or dissatisfied with their explanation of the situation. I feel like someone might be coming towards you with an apology and it might be someone from your past. Um, this three of cups leads me to believe that it's sort of like a reunion. So it's someone that hasn't necessarily spoken to you coming back to apologize. Especially if it's like an ex. I, I'm hearing that, I'm saying that and I'm feeling a lot of you guys sort of cringe and uh, not really like the idea of that, but I definitely s sense that someone is coming back to sort of just tell you that they've wronged you and I feel like that really makes you I just looked at my um, Timer on the video and it was five five five. So you guys might be seeing synchronicities um, But whatever is going on you feel Positive in the end at the end of the day you have this Sun card which makes you feel Great, because the Sun card is the happiest card in the tarot, right? Um, and I still haven't really spoken on this Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords feels very mysterious. So I should point out that the Queen of Swords is the card of air signs. So that's Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. And while I'm at it, I should also point out that the major arcana here of the Justice, the Death, and the Hermit are the cards of Libra, Scorpio, and Virgo, respectively. Um, those signs don't have to resonate, but if they do, just take that as extra confirmation. But I definitely feel like, like I was saying earlier, it might be an X because especially with the Six of Cups, Six of Cups talks about childhood, so it might be someone who you knew in the past. Um, it almost feels like you have so much... It, it almost feels like a different lifetime ago um, because of how long it was. And for some of you guys, it might be that you've met this person in a different lifetime and now they're sort of coming back and evening out a lot of justice, um, a lot of karma here with this justice card. And like I was saying, they're coming back, right, with this three of cups. But whatever it is, like I said earlier, with the Sun card, you're going to come out on top. And it's very interesting to me that I see both the Ten of Pentacles here and the Ten of Swords. Ten is a very interesting number. So the Ten denotes um, the finishing of a cycle. So it's almost as if you've been in the cycle where you've been very Ten of Swords energy, and now you're going to this Ten of Pentacles, right? So what does that mean? The Ten of Swords isn't a lovely card to have. It's very painful, it's very tragic. Um, Ten of Swords talks about being backstabbed or just being stabbed in general. You know, somebody may have said something that was very um, hurtful and almost like their word, their words stung. I'm hearing that very loudly. Um, but like I said, traditionally the Ten of Swords talks about betrayal and heartbreak and just a lot of misery all around. But that to me feels very separated uh, from whatever this Ten of Pentacles moment is for you guys. And it's very interesting. I like to call the Ten of Pentacles my happy wife, happy life card. So whatever you... Whatever that looks like to you, uh, having a happy family and good stability material-wise, right? For some of you, that means having a home with a white pickup fence. For some of you, that means having a luxury apartment downtown. You know, whatever that looks like to you, I feel like you're trying to achieve that, and you are going to, especially since you're moving away from whatever this backstabbing betrayal was. What I do want to note here is that, before I do actually, a couple things I want to say. First, this Ten of Pentacles in particular is a lot different than from other interpretations I've seen. It almost feels like you're winning the lottery here. Like you're receiving some kind of money out of nowhere that you weren't really expecting, and that's going to take a whole ease off of your guys's. Um, it's going to lighten your burden a lot. And then the second thing I wanted to note is here with this you see a scale here and it almost feels like the same scale as here and it even has the same the same kind of build almost exactly so it feels as if whatever this moment of justice is for you guys you're going to see 
um, some kind of financial gain and that's going to lighten your load. I feel like, uh, you know, for some of you guys, you might be going into a civil case, tort case, whatever, and you end up being awarded some money. Um, but whatever the situation is, I feel like it's very difficult for you guys to leave. Also, I want to note again that I looked at the clock and it was 10, 10, um, on the video. So even more synchronicities and confirmation for you guys. But like I was saying earlier, this eight of cups here, for some reason, when I tried to pick it up to flip it over, it just would not flip over um, at the beginning of the video, right, when it came out. So I feel like you guys really need to leave the situation or really want to leave the situation, but you just can't, right? And I feel that you guys need to really just like stick it out. And I, th I know that you guys can. It's not like I had to put the card away or anything like that. It's just that it's not going to be what you would like it to be. And it's going to take a lot of hard work and a lot of effort. But I feel like it's going to pay off in the end. Especially since you have this um, sun card here. And also, I'm looking at my clock and I just hit 11.11. So even more confirmation for you guys. Um... But, Sagittarius, that was your reading for this time around. And if you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like or a comment because it really r helps out the channel. And I personally really like to know if these readings resonate with you guys. But, like I said before, I upload my new Sagittarius videos on Wednesdays. But in the meantime, you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other timeless readings that I have up on the channel. And with that being said, I hope to see you guys next time for your next reading.